check this out. It's a Japanese bar. It's got the little gizmo that comes up for the two things. It's all scratched, but you can't, this stuff can all come out. Uh, what do we got here? How much is it? Yeah. 300 bucks. You know, that's not really that bad for a bar. Nah, this thing's got a lot of potential. Uh, wow. Well, little sideboard or a bar. Could be nice for a buffet. Uh, whoops, you go over like that. Anyway, 300 bucks is a little high for me. 150, I get it. But uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, over here, this is the companion pieces, I guess. They're two, um, two little chests of drawers. And this is $189. Oh, jewelry chest. And I get, okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, uh, yep, that's a jewelry jazz. With the felt thingy. Actually, it's more, this isn't jewelry. This is for silverware. Kids, you guys called it wrong. Yeah, that's for silver. And this over here. Yeah, this is for silverware, I'm guessing. That's going to be my best guess. Yeah, that's got to be some for silver. And it's got a little guy down here. How much is this other one? 189 Alright, so there you go. Not for me, too expensive. Oh, and there's even another thing over here. Look at this guy. It's got like a burl top on it. I like this one. That's really nice. Wow. Nice little uh, cabinet. Neat. How much are you? $129. Alright, so that's pretty cool. A whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Not for me. Not really what I do, but eh, off I go. Neat. Guys, I am out at my, uh, where am I, Cortez GW, and I found this super cool, it's a Swing Line 67 electric stapler, I haven't seen one of these in years, check that guy out, wow, eight bucks, I, I'm not getting a signal in here, so uh, I'm going to pass on this, but wow, if it was blue, I would have got it, <laughs> all right, that was neat though, never, I, I, I haven't, I have seen them, but long ago, all right, up I go. Check this out. It looks like a Curtis gear, but I know it is not. Uh, it's a golf bag. <laughs> um, like a brutalist golf bag. Very cool. And on the back, oh, here yeah, it's signed. Uh, it says 1975 N Nesco um, Imports. And I think this is from Hong Kong. Uh, so there you go. I'm not going to get it, but uh, very unusual. All right, need enough. Off I go. You guys check this out it is a two inch half hotel pan for three bucks these sell for i believe it's uh, twenty dollars thirty dollars somewhere around there and that's the nsf guy uh very cool <laughs> i need to get back in the restaurant business all right that's cheap off i go right underneath of it i didn't see it it's a pineapple upside down cake pan <laughs> for two bucks that is too damn cool look at that I'm gonna pass it, I already got one, but need enough. And it's non-stick, that helps. Off I go. Check this out. It is a 70s trivet, and this is like the Lucite stuff with the little ladybug. It's got lentils and uh, popcorn in it, and some dried flowers, and there you go. Very neat, uh, for $3. No, I'm not gonna get it, but I do definitely remember seeing these things back in the day. All right, neat, off I go. Here's some beer glasses, Schlitz, Paps Blue Ribbon PBR, and a Budweiser. Uh, Budweiser used to be the big deal. Now, domestic beers have been falling, falling, falling. I am a Coors Light guy myself. <laughs> kind of been for a while, but I drank Bud for, Jesus, uh, for 20 years. Uh, then I drank Yingling for who knows how long. And I'm stuck on my, um, <clears throat> my Coors Light now. All right. Uh, how much are these guys? Sorry, my little side story. Two bucks a piece. They're cool, but uh, not really my bag. Off I go. Check 
check it out. It's one of those uh, heaters, out, outdoor heaters. And they want 25 bucks for it. Oh, and this is a, uh, you hook it up to a propane gas tank. I guess that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a big pass though. Uh, woo. Nope, off I go. Hey guys, check this out. It is an Epcot Flower and Garden Festival from 2003, so it's 20 years old. And it's a it's a pot, <laughs> like a little flower pot. That's really cool. And it's only two bucks. It's got the Disney Made in Thailand thing. Very cool. I'm gonna pass on it, but it's very neat. All right, off I go. Hey guys, it made me, oh. made me chuckle a little bit. It's from the, the, the it's the Toy Story, Toy Story Land. It's got the little alien dude and, and the claws coming down to grab him. <laughs> That's very cute. And it is uh, eight bucks. Oof. That's a big pass, but wow. That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> I got a chuckle. Off I go. Check out this uh, sofa sectional thing. Somebody bought it. Uh, I can't see a price, but wow. Looks like it's late 80s, early 90s, somewhere in there. It's a lot of stuff, and it's, whoo, it's that ghastly pastel -y colors, but it's definitely Florida-ish. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pass, and uh, how much is it? Oh, didn't even say, or maybe over here it says. And I saw the other tag. I don't see a pro oh I don't see a price. Oh, 70 bucks. Ah, I guess you'd spend about four thousand dollars to recover it. Nope, that's a big pass. Off I go.